Hi, my name is Deborah Ojo and I am a medical student in College of Medicine, University of Lagos. I have been asked to share my story for the Global Virtual Summit, which is organized by iBridge and it's themed the Blueprint of Academic Excellence. I'll be answering a few questions. First question is how do you handle classes and reading? Um, I, I should say that I, I, I kind of get, get things quite fast and I learn with my five senses. I listen, I like to watch videos to understand. So once I see people demonstrating or explaining to me, this is why I tend to most likely almost always like to attend class. I tend to write in class always and um, reading. Uh, for reading, med school, you have to read something every single day. If not, you'll be lagging behind. If not, and most of the things are volatile. So if you don't keep reading, you might forget them and that will be very terrible for your um, progress. So yeah, listen in class, attend as much classes as you can, write notes in class and try to read something every single day. It doesn't have to be for six hours. You can, for two hours enough. I, yeah, I try to read as much as two hours or an hour. In between, I take breaks because I can't read as a stretch, but yes read as much as I can every single day and make sure the day doesn't end without me learning something. So the next question is about my examination strategy spanning from preparation to D-Day. So I would say that preparation starts basically from the first day of resumption or from the beginning of the session basically. So um, I have asked to get a, like a very broad view of school because I, I, I am somebody that does not like to go into something without preparing. So um, I tend to ask a lot of questions from seniors um, get past questions from them because the technique um, College of Medicine use, I don't know if other schools are like that, we tend to have a lot of past questions re re um, repeated or you, you tend to study them and you see that there's this pattern to them. So once you ask your seniors and you can yourself pay attention and sit down to study these things that you are set off for a good start in the session basically. And, um, and I've gotten my books, whatever books I need and from the beginning, I tend to like set goals for, okay, I want this particular grade or I want to work within this range, basically. Because most times uh, you might not exactly get what you expect, but if you work towards it, definitely you'll be getting something in that range. And I don't particularly give myself, okay, I want a hundred, but I give myself a range and I try my best to work towards it. Um, how I study, how I prepare for examinations. We have study groups. Uh, I join study groups. Uh, we have discussions daily. We answer past questions. We review what lecturers have taught us in class. And then I myself take time to read. And I think I tend to read more at night than in the daytime. I do reading in the day as well, but I, I also read at night. Not exactly for so long or every day, but <laughs> I can say I'm in the group that learn better at night. Yeah. So once I've slept and woken up and my brain is refreshed, I start reading and I take breaks. I take one to two minutes break or 15 minutes break, walk around, drink water, do something and come back to reading. Another examination strategy um, would be, so we have this thing where we have um, breaks, we have in courses and these in courses are like mid course kind of exams or tests that eventually um, count towards your general grade at the end of everything. So we have like, let's say you've had four weeks of lectures, you'd have an in course on that particular module you've been taught and then another maybe six weeks you have a test so what's, what i do i try my best to work towards these things because most times these grades are what you need to boost yourself from your professional exam at the end of the year i study i study i study hard for these courses i study really hard for these courses because these grades matter and uh they would count eventually and to me i think these are kind of things that make you have less things to read for at the end of the session. The next question is about my academic secrets and intentional habits I can share. I would say um, there are any particular secrets apart from trying your best to study and cover up the curriculum as fast as you can, understanding these things and not just cramming them so that you don't tend to forget on the examination day and retaining this knowledge. So one thing is key, you can be taking in all the information and understand what you're reading or you can understand and eventually forget after a week or two because most times these things are volatile so i have these flashcards we watch videos um study groups we're constantly discussing answering past questions revisiting these topics you've taken in the past so that it's constantly refreshed in your memory that kind of thing and then i attend tutorials where we have senior students um break down what lecturers basically do not do a good job at in class so the next question is how um, i handle unexpected results life happens and uh, it's for everybody i think life basically happens most times what you plan for may not go the same way and 
I have learned in the past that I should not exactly give up because of that. So I, what I'll do if or when I have unexpected results, because most times CMA will shock you. <laughs> this school will shock you and you might be taken off guard and you might you might become sad and depressed. But what, what exactly I would say I do is um, I tend to reassess the entire thing from the beginning to the end. I take it in good faith. I try my best to take it in good faith. It will be hard, very hard, but I try I try as much as I can to take it in good faith. I try to reassess the situation. Where exactly did I go wrong? So the last question is about my social engagement and how I try to balance it with academics. Most times I tend to go off guard because I am somebody that is really active. I am a type A personality. And yeah, so I have a lot of things that I tend to do, get myself involved in, but most of the times, regularly at constant occasions i stop and try to remind myself that this thing is a scale of preference I'm, I'm here because i'm a medical student first before i can do any other thing so i try to prioritize put academics at the top of my scale of preference anything that is going to be battling with that and is going to have like i can't see it or i know already that's going to have a negative effect i am going to have to cut it off most times i get too involved and i try my best not to do that so i i would not necessarily go into things that would take off all my time energy and then i don't have any time or anything left to read or study